What's up guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, today's video, we're gonna go over slip solution. What soap to use, what to add, how much to add, whether you use a poly sprayer, tint keg, hand sprayer, or even a cheap pump sprayer from your local hardware store. How much soap and what kind of soap do you need to add to the water in order for it to work with your film? A lot of that's gonna to have to do with the film that you actually use, so this is gonna be trial and error. I'm just gonna be showing you the method that I've come up with that works well with the film that I use from Tint Depot. Um, I don't have to change my slip solution or my installation solution for the Superior Charcoal line that I carry or the uh, Ceramic Extreme. Uh, there is another line that I've used, uh, the Ceramic IR, uh, tends to need less soap, so I have to keep a bottle on hand that has less soap solution in it. So that being said, depending on the film that you use, this method might not be an exact, but it works for me and these films. So big thing, do we use baby shampoo? Do we use Dawn? Do we use Joy? There's other products on the market that are basically designed for tinters, like uh, this is the Fusion All Type, there's Tint Slime, there's some other ones that's available on the market. Uh, in my shop, I keep it simple, it's baby shampoo, and here recently, within the last few months, I've been adding Dawn uh, for a little bit of extra tax. So last, I buy gallons of water. This is distilled water. Um, I've been doing it since I opened my shop almost, well, a little over a year and a half ago. Before that, I used tap water and I had to clean my filters quite a bit. Now, um, when I, I only have mesh filters in my sprayers and when I, over a year now using that keg, I've not had any issues with the mesh filters haven't had to even clean them so i buy it you don't have to that's the point of the filters so let's uh let me get set up and we'll kind of mix a few of these up and i'll show you what i do so i've got everything set up it looks more complicated than it really is it's as simple as how much soap to how much water and again this is based on the, the films that i use from tintipo.com the superior charcoal and the ceramic extreme I prefer the Johnson & Johnson Baby Shampoo with a little addition of Dawn. There's the other ones that I mentioned, the Fusion All Type and um, the uh, Tint Slime and some other ones, Tint On, or I don't know. You have to look them up if you want to try them. Otherwise, uh, if you feel that this method might help you or make a better uh, slip solution, great. It's more of a beginner's tutorial into how to get started, what soaps can you use, and just get into tinting without having to go crazy and find all kinds of weird stuff that, that just takes too long. So this has helped me tremendously. Obviously a funnel uh, for the bottles. I use that for these even today. Um, this used to be my go-to uh, and I used to put enough of this in here to find one ounce of shampoo. I no longer have to use this because I got online and found one of these. Each pump is one ounce, so one down, all the way down and up is one ounce of baby shampoo, so I just transfer my separate bottles into a big bottle, and that's helped tremendously. So the magic formula that I use for the films that I mentioned is two ounces in warm weather, warm or hot, two ounces of baby shampoo, and a little Dawn. I haven't measured it, I haven't had the need. The Dawn I found helps get the tint to tack a little quicker to the glass instead of staying super slippery all over the glass. The amount of uh, baby shampoo that I use allows you to put it to the glass and then slide it around, get it into place, and it not tack up too soon. And I put a little pressure with my hands and that Dawn seems to help cling it to the glass a little bit quicker. So that's, that's my method. Depending on your film, you might even use the same film and change this up. But again, this is just kind of a beginner's tutorial how to, if you will. So I'm gonna add it to this, and obviously mathematically we'll move on, but I always use a full gallon at a time of water. And again, I buy my water. I like to not have to worry about the cleanliness in the lines, the cleanliness in the tank. So that's just me. So I'm gonna add one full gallon of water to my tank. So I know that we're working with a gallon of water. Obviously you got your 32 ounce sprayers, you got your 64 ounce sprayers. So four of these makes a gallon, two of those makes a gallon, so you just obviously do the math on it. Try to pour without it blurping so it doesn't make too many suds in there. So there's a gallon of water, now I need two ounces of baby shampoo. Super easy. One, two. 
That was actually a little bit less because we're in the cold weather. And I'll speak about that in just a second. We need some Dawn, one, two, per gallon. Nope, it's not an exact measurement. It's been working for me. Uh, you might find you use less of this, more of this, more of this. Uh, who knows, you'll come up with your own. But that's what works for me. I pop the lid on, give it a good shake. I usually run about three gallons of water in a, in a five gallon keg. Gives me about two gallons of, of space for air. And that gets me through four or five cars. I can get through a whole day uh, and not have to redo it. Usually I just do it in the morning, set it, forget it, and I'm ready to go. So obviously with these, um, quick tip, if you don't have one of these and you buy these, uh, I did measure it and about, not exact, but about 15 pumps is an ounce. So that can help. I usually use, you know, if I need a low amount, uh, eight pumps in here. If I need a really slippery amount, I'll double the amount and put 15, so an ounce to 32 ounces uh, for that extra slip, those little, those extra tacky uh, windows, back windows, quarter windows. So that's pretty much it. So I know it's a simple tutorial, it's a simple how-to, but there's people out there, I get the questions, what are you running your tank, how much soap do you use, what kind of soap. So this is just something we can just kind of point people to and say this is how we do it, and um, hopefully that helps. Crazy as it sounds, it's as simple as it is. So whether you're deciding on what soaps to use, what sprayers to use, Hopefully that gets you in the ballpark of being able to get started. And like I said, it's not an exact science. You're gonna probably mix it one way or another, um, come up with your own solution. That's the solution I use every day in my shop and have been for a long, long time, and it works well. Do I adjust it from time to time? Yes. Um, even that one ounce pump is not 110% perfect, and I'll find that over time, my tank starts to get a little bit uh, too soapy, and I'll have to add, say, a half, a half a gallon of water to it, and no soap, just to kind of adjust it and balance it back out. But that's it, that's Slip Solution. Um, hopefully that gets you going, gets you started, gets you tinting. If you have any questions, reach out to Tint at Depot. Uh, they're happy to help. Reach out to me, Kevin Rogers, on Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. One last note, most people use, unless you're in a you know, controlled environment where your shop can stay a nice cozy 70 degrees all the time, you might have cold days, your shop might get down to 40s or something, so you're gonna find that you're gonna lessen the amount of soap that you put into the water, otherwise your tint's gonna slide all over the place, and then in hot environments, you work in 80, 90 degree environments or more, you're gonna find that the tint's gonna to tack too quick and you're gonna to have to add a little bit more soap. So it's an ongoing thing. Come up with your own recipe, your own way. Maybe you use a pump, maybe you use a measuring cup. Maybe you don't use either. Uh, I know some great tinners out there that literally just off the whim, add their soap, give it a shake and they go and it works for them. But I do like coming in in the morning, getting my day started, two pumps, a few drops of Dawn, shake my tank, add some air, and I tint for the day. So hope that helps. Again, reach out if needed. Check out tintdepot.com. This formula works really, really well for their superior charcoal line, their HP charcoal line, as well as the Ceramic Extreme. So Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. See you on the next one.